God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's dark, but well, let me see if I can. Let me see. Let me open up the window. Well, not open up the window. You know what I'm saying? But anywho. Okay, so you remember you guys, if you've been with me long enough, you know that I tried to do a prayer closet in my main closet, and then I got pregnant, and now the closet ain't even my closet no more. So, this closet, since I've been clearing out things and donating things and giving things away, I was thinking, perhaps this could be a prayer closet, since it's now cleared out, and I have space and opportunity. Yeah. So, not sure how this process is going to go, but I'm going to give you a tour of a before and after. So, it won't be a long video, but um, yeah, let's, let's just clean up in here. Let's just, because <laughs> I'm just studying, getting rid of stuff, and stuff is continuously going out the door. So, yeah, let, let, let's see what we can do in here, all right? I need you guys to stay tuned while my phone charges of course and um it's not too big in here but i do have an extra table i do have an extra stand here i have a little stool that can come in here y'all i can put sticky notes all around here you know keep it private keep it personal i got the bulletin board i actually can put in here too so we got a lot we can accomplish in here so yeah Less. Oh, and um, if I fail to mention, I do have lights too. Lights that can be hung up on the wall, which is cool too. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. This is before. Messy and all. Yeah, yeah. So, no light. I wish there was a light. My closet at my mom's house had a light. But, anywho. All right, enough talking. I'm trying to get out of the shadow so you guys can really see. All right, gotta go. Before and okay, guys. So many moons, hours, seconds, diaper changes, feedings later. <laughs> I have the finale. The door is. We're going to do something else with the door. I don't know yet. That was available. I, I kind of want something to hang a little lower. Oh, you know, I do got a chain. So maybe I use a chain and then run it down. Because I don't want it to be angled like that. I don't know. We shall see. All right. So are you guys ready? Are you ready for the prayer closet? that actually is gonna be used for more than just prayer, but reading time with God, you know, when I need to get away, because no one's gonna suspect me to be in here. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say nothing to anyone for a while to see if they can figure it out. But, all right. One, two, three. Ah. This is the space not permanent you know like what's gonna be here i'm not sure yet but i do know one of my anxiety is really bad i do like the color so i put that in here and i got some color pencils in here i have of course a candle now obviously there's no light in here so well, i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when i actually close the door if you'll give me just a second oh, there <laughs> Shit. Well, that works too. But I do have touch lights. One, two, three. So let the camera focus. But I have my bulletin board with different prayers. I have prayers up here. I have um, my depression verses. And I have my little desk here, which I'm going to make over. Just like I did the other one, I'm going to um, put something on top. I don't know if I want to do the exact same one, but I do want to redo it. So I'm not sure yet. 
because there's only but a few options in Dollar Tree that I've seen, like that wood I'd had, then one with like, like a gold design, and one that really didn't look kind of woodsy to me, look more kitcheny. So I don't know. But I have a lot of lighting in here in case I need more. This is a little light that everything's Dollar Tree, as a matter of fact. What's up, for? They came from Dollar General. I know it won't focus because of the lighting. That one either because <laughs> it's dark in here. But um, let me see if I can open the door to make sense. Okay, much better. All right, so it's a lot of lighting going on, but yeah, I just love it. Um, the boxes probably stay in the pillow. I'm not sure because obviously it doesn't really go, which I don't really have a theme in here per se. Um, I did try to do like pastel, like really light colors um, to match this Bible. And what I also plan on doing in here is when I need to get away from all the noise and stuff and focus, I'm going to be doing the reading through the year plan again with this. Um, I just brand new 2023 and I'm still going to keep the one on my phone and just really stay in here and focus. And like I said, be really away from everyone. I do eventually at some point want a more comfortable chair. So, you know, be praying about that. We'll be looking for one. I actually saw one outside yesterday. Someone had a yard sale, but huh, I don't, it's relocating it. That's the issue. So maybe a nice comfy folding chair, maybe if I can find, but something small and something that can be put up. So I'm going to be praying about that. And you guys be praying as well. But yeah, this is the prayer closet. It's not really fancy or anything. Um, Probably end up putting sticky notes on the wall too. I don't know. Um, but I want it nice and neat. I don't really need much in here. I got my thankful journal, got my pens, got my lip balm. Like I said, I got lighting, which I can turn my lights off now. Cause like Bella's napping, so I don't have to worry about, you know, stealing away per se. But I even thought about doing strictly candle lit which I don't know, that may require me putting up shelves or something, um, but I don't know. But the lights are in here just in case, so. But this is what it looks like. And stay tuned, I don't know if you're gonna see this before or after this room reveal because I've made so many changes, it's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah, that's it. Nothing much, but it's functional. Tell me where or because I know I hate showing places like this, knowing that people don't have the opportunity to do something like this. But um, I do want to just in case someone needs to be motivated or needs an idea, then voila, you know, make space, make room. If it is only a corner in your home or um, what I find myself doing right here lately because life has been so busy, I have my quiet time right at the kitchen. Yes, it's in the center of chaos, but at the same time, I don't have to worry about no one coming knocking at the door because I'm right there and they can talk to me or ask me things. Or if I got to get up and cook, you know, I'm right there already. So, yeah. So, I know it's not fancy, y'all, but it'll do. Love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.